Welcome back everyone to the Overclocking World Championship Las Vegas 2017. I'm Truthman from Overclocking TV and today we are here for the witness who will be the best overclocker in this OCWC for this 2017 season. Uh, so far this is the first event out of 10 and we are having, uh, we had match between Lucky Noob, Stepanzi, Pibojdes and Dogna us here. We are on our way to the final here, the gold final uh, between uh, Stepans and Lucky Noob, the actual two best overclocker from the qualifier. That's going to be very interesting to see what they can put out as a score and if they will be using their veto for the benchmark on any of the benchmark that we have been seeing today. Uh, let's now talk back about what the game that just finished. I mean, that game was uh, between uh, Dogna Osir from Japan, that is a complete outsider. He's not even in the top 500 of the best overclocker in the world, but he ended up here, displayed some very Nice skills. I mean, he was he was doing step by step. Some rookie mistake, of course. I'm sure you guys will be talking about it to use and uh, and be doing it in the next few minutes. And we do have Bibosh um, just that, of course, display what he what he knew. And he was preparing himself quite a lot. He was talking with us um, in in the past few days. And yeah, you know that's how it works. You have matches, one versus one, 30 minutes. Everything can happen during that time, and that's what happened. All right, guys, uh, thank you very much for tuning in for the uh, um, analysis. I will let you guys with Bilzoid and Tullius. Yeah, so, you know, it was a um, very one-sided match. Um, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> there was a major, uh, well, Dogna Osir just straight up didn't know that... Uh, the OpenCL implementation he was running for for his system just doesn't work for 500M in GPU Pi properly. It scores slower than the other than the Intel implementation of OpenCL. And the thing about this is, GPU Pi allows you to you can use like the AMD OpenCL or Intel OpenCL implementations. And AMD OpenCL is actually better for one billion. Yeah, the larger problem sizes. Yeah, it's. It's significantly worse for 500 million and 100 million. Basically, as the as the problem size goes down, it, the AMD OpenCL gets less and less efficient. So, yes. Dogna was trying to run it on the AMD OpenCL uh, implementation, whereas uh, you know B Boy Jazz was running the Intel one. So B Boy Jazz was pretty much score, scoring, you know, close to the one minute mark, um, whereas Dogna was well above one minute thirty. Yeah, I think we've lost audio again. But yeah, like I think what you were saying was right away in the beginning. Um, yeah, we had just right off the bat. The first score was the first score was telling. Actually, one minute forty-eight to one minute fifteen. I mean, that itself was pretty much telling right then and there. Uh, yeah, I just had audio drop out again. Yeah. Yeah, I think you noticed. Um, so, yeah, so, um, I, I, I totally missed what you missed, so could you maybe carry on the discussion? or? Yeah, uh, I was just saying, uh, just pretty much what you were saying, was that just literally in the first run, the difference was so huge that, you know, that, that maybe should have hinted that, there is something massively, massively wrong here. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. That, that is very true. Actually, anybody who has who, who has any experience with GPU Pi, it should become really obvious that there's huge differences. Like, it's really obvious when you mess up your software settings for that benchmark because the, the differences are just, like, massive. It's not, like, uh, it's, a small amount yeah. where you might be like, oh, I might just be running timings or something. No, it's literally, like, you are losing by... 30 seconds or more across the board. Or more. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just like, you, you can't possibly think that there's some, your system is okay with that. So, so yeah, that's the thing. You actually need to know, like in, in the competitive overclocking scene, you need to know your benchmarks because there's a lot oh, of yeah. weirdness. Yes. Uh, there's, there's a ton of weirdness. Especially <laughs> as you go older and older benchmarks, it just gets sort of ridiculous with the kinds of things you have to know about. Like, uh, 
I know there's a certain 3D mark, which if you run it in a very specific order, scores higher. <laughs> this is true. Which is like, you would never ever think that that would possibly be a thing, but it is. But it is. You know, and, and it it, that's yeah. just like the, the, you and know, it actually that, changes from, yeah, it changes from, from, from it changes GPU. from hardware to hardware. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And, and, and GPU Pi is just one of those benchmarks where it's like, if you want to run the, the 1 billion implementation or larger, you run the AMD OpenCL, and if you want to run the smaller implementations, you have to run the Intel oh. implementation oh. because they're just the way they handle the data. One of them is better for for larger tasks, and one of them is better for smaller tasks. Pretty so, precisely. Yeah. So, and, and then again, also on the NVIDIA side of uh, GPU Pi, you could in theory run OpenCL uh, for NVIDIA on NVIDIA yeah. cards because yeah, OpenCL is completely open. But it wouldn't work. You should run it on the CUDA implementation CUDA. because the CUDA implementation is faster on the NVIDIA cards, whereas AMD cards straight up couldn't run CUDA at all. Uh, at just all. because, yeah, yeah it's, it's, a closed, CUDA. It's, a, it's a it's a closed standard. So um, yeah, but I mean, this is this is again with 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 just you could you could see. I mean, Boji's he. I mean, he's been he's been training with Alva, so yep. you know. So, yeah, you can. You oh, can, funnily, you can, yeah. funnily enough, Alva got burned really badly by GPU <laughs> Pi by this very same thing in the hardware world, uh, hardware bot world tour uh, last year in the finals. He went up yeah. against Extreme Addict, and Extreme Addict just completely destroyed him. Same as we saw here today, because of the OpenCL implementation Open they were using. You know, Extreme Addict was actually like you could see him. He he was annoyed at his system. Because he was having trouble with his system at the time, but he was still scoring way higher because of that OpenCL implementation. You just can't get around that. It's just a huge gulf in in how how the benchmark performs, and it's you just got to know that. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that, that's true, and that's and well, again, so that's a mistake. People like Alva and you know, boy, geez, then they're not going to make yeah, that again. The, the thing is, the thing is, oh, GPU Pi is a pretty new benchmark, so you know, that's unlike true. a lot of the other benchmarks. Not everybody has it figured out, and then you have to add on to the fact that Dogna OC OCR is very new to the community. I mean, he joined yes. literally a year ago. Yes, so yes, 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 yes. No, that's again precisely. There's no replacement for experience here, um, and 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 Borges and Alva they actually make a very good team. I mean, they've been they've been coming to CES and they've been going to quite a few shows together and stuff like that. So yeah, that you can definitely tell. You can definitely yep. tell. And other than that, in terms of actual like getting the runs in, I think the the technique was more or less the same. They ran all the way, you know. Uh, Dogna Osir actually got six gigahertz before Jazz, but he was also scoring lower because of that efficiency issue. Very cool. Um, and and then towards the end of it, Dog Dogna Osir started having issues with just getting the system to run at all. And that's kind of been the trade today. Hmm? Towards the last ten, you know, towards the last ten minutes of the competition, most, most, I mean, all, almost all of the rounds, systems haven't yeah. been performing. Yeah. Yeah. They just past the, the twenty-minute mark. That's 20 because mark, they yeah. very quickly max out the system. Right? Yes. These guys yes. max out the system in twenty minutes. Yeah. Past yeah. twenty minutes, it's just like, oh, it doesn't work. It just won't, because they're very quickly hit the ceiling, and once yeah. you hit that ceiling. You know, then 50 no matter, megahertz yeah. is a, you know, it's, much less yeah, than 100 or 200 100, megahertz. Very yeah. true. Very true. So it's not surprising that after 20 minutes, you see see the scores just slow down to a crawl. Um, and really, I've, Dogna Osir really should have tried at least change the implementations. Because if he was running the AMD one... Um, I think we lost audio again, but yeah, he did. He did towards the end. He did at least choose the right OpenCL version. You could, you could, you could see it when he was trying to run at six point two or six point three gigahertz. Um, yeah, but but he was too high frequency wise. He, too high he frequency. Wasn't, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he wasn't yeah. able to finish at that point. So maybe he noticed that he needs to change implementation, but he still didn't get a score down because. True. That's that's precisely what happened there. Um, but yeah, he did. He did catch it in the end. You could, you, I mean, yeah, you could see that he had chosen uh, Intel OpenCL. Yeah, well, you end. announced it to the entire venue. I actually <laughs> didn't know everybody was listening. I yeah, I didn't know that they were that that that, that we yeah, were live. Live. 
I know. It's, that was. <laughs> I would have said it too. Oh what? <laughs> um, I. I mean, it's something about GPU Pi that honestly everybody should just know. It's you need to run the right implementation. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, so. it's it's there is no other real tweak for this benchmark apart from the right open serial version well you can also play with the batch sizes and reduction yeah, sizes yeah and, yeah but, but then, usually I mean, my, my method for that is just copy the top score on hardware file. exactly exactly <laughs> Roll with so his you, settings because it's probably yeah, the best best exactly so i mean if you go and check out the top 10 scores and then you see what they're running and if you know, most of them are running a particular setting. Yeah, that's the interesting thing, because they were running 500 million instead of, like, 100 million or 1 billion. So if you right now went and checked what, you, like, you know, if you went and checked what everybody's running, because 500 million is right in the middle of those two. Yeah. You wouldn't actually be able to tell which settings so, are going to be better. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I'm, unless I'm you actually, 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 unless you knew how the algorithm behind GPU Pi GPU worked, Pi works. in detail. Because yeah. I, I don't think, I think it would be more sort of, because 1 billion is very different from like 100 million in terms of how it runs. And even from 500 million, it's very different, right? Because you right. think 500 million would be that crossover point where the AMD implementation and the Intel implementation should be on top of each other, but they're not. Yeah, There's still not. a huge gap, yeah. but by 1 billion, AMD is in the lead. So very obviously, it's, it's not, you know, for, for us as humans, it looks like, Oh, it's in the middle. For the computer, yeah, it's yeah, yeah no, no. <laughs> it's not in no, the middle no, at all. Yeah, it, it's so. something something totally changes when it hits large pro problem sizes. The way it's addressing CPU or the way it's addressing stuff, I mean, it completely changes its behavior. Yeah, and uh, and actually, Intel OpenCL actually gets progressively worse with uh, bigger problem sizes. I mean, it to a point where it just becomes horrendous. This this I actually learned some time ago when I was benching the twenty the my dual CPU system and even there Intel OpenCL was faster than um, AMD for uh, one for like a hundred million and stuff like that. It was much. Yeah, faster. I think it's literally just the size of the workload that that, that yeah. matters to me, not necessarily core count or anything else. It's, it's just, just that workload size and the way the OpenCLs handle it uh, changes. I guess this would be like an optimal question for the creator of the benchmark. But I wonder yeah. if he actually, yeah, that, that, that'd be interesting to get his insights on that. Um, yeah, other than that, like, clockwise, they were more or less the they, same. They, they the were technique, pretty close. Technique was very similar for both of them. They both went yes. steadily up, up in frequency. So not really a huge difference except for that, the, the implementation. That's very true. That's very true. No. And then, and, and then, of course, Boyjis could get his system to run at six, at at, at six or six point two or whatever. He did manage to run it. At, yeah. I mean, yeah, six point two gigahertz. So, yeah, he did manage that. He did manage that run successfully, which is which wasn't happening for um, for Dogma, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I think it's just little bits like that which made all the difference at the end. You know, that's 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 actually what yeah. what did it. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what. I wonder what the actual reason for. Again, this 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 would be a lovely conversation with with the creator of 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 the benchmark. I mean, this I would really probably like this would probably even extend to the point where you'd want to talk to like the guys at AMD who worked on the OpenCL. Open yeah. Really, because, right. Right. You it know, probably has to be like a joint effort. The app doesn't necessarily mean you, you know how the because there's a middle layer between yeah. OpenCL, what you write for your application to run, and the, then there's the actual implementation, which True. takes whatever you wrote and converts it into something the CPU can actually work yeah, with, or the well, GPU can work with, or yeah. so. Yeah, it's it's a it it would be interesting to know why the difference is there, but I think <laughs> you'd have to find some, you know, experts yeah, for the for yeah, software side thing. for this. Yeah. Ooh. I wonder what's happening in the chat. Um, there's French, which I can't <laughs> read, unfortunately. <laughs> Me neither. Um, um, okay, Mick. Michelle, Mike is still is is still complaining about the 3D Mark 3. 11 score. <laughs> Yo, <Cat>. hey, bro. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, 
Um, There's not really yeah. much else to say, so I guess we'll ask our viewers to ask questions. Be reasonable, please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, if you complain about low GPU Pi scores, then I mean, sure, go right ahead. But I don't think the scores were that low. Well, I don't think there's really much we can talk about except the implementation at this point. Um, since GPU Pi is very much a frequency is king type of benchmark, as far as I know, it doesn't really scale with memory that much. It doesn't really yeah. scale with cache that much. Uh, the only thing it really cares about is more core clock. That's it. That's it. More All right, guys. I'm back. This is Truthman speaking right now. Hey. Um, we're going to take a short break. Thank you very much for all the commentaries and, uh, and having this. We're actually we're listening to you guys here at the venue. Um, thank you very much for, for all this. We're going to move on to the next uh, and final match. That's going to be the gold final. Uh, let's do a quick break and then we go back live. <laughs> 